All right, guys, story time. So back in 2018, Bitcoin was simply range bound between $6,000 to the downside and $8,000 to the upside. And what I used to do in the market was I was simply trying to have crazy amount of expectations from my day trading as a whole. I used to expect that I'm going to come out profitable every single day trying to play these chops to the upside or the downside, right? But guys, that was a simple wrecked behavior in the market, guys. The thing is that when the volatility is completely squeezed out, and when the price action is simply not moving in one particular direction as a whole, it gets really difficult to kind of nail the swing trades or kind of make good moves in the market that can yield you more than 30-40% as a whole together, right? That is something which I was expecting every single day. Guys, the thing is that I was not mentored at first, right? And there was literally nobody to help me out. So I was kind of figuring these things out on my own until I simply went to my brother who is who's already been there in the financial markets for 15 whole years guys i was too adamant to simply admit that i don't know fucking trading what i'm doing is i was, I was simply gambling in the market trying to pinpoint the burden from these levels and expecting bitcoin to go to 100,000. but bam wrecked right once again try to expect bitcoin to go to at least these highs but bam guys once again wrecked in the market and essentially what used to happen is that i was trying to pinpoint these bottoms all this time and by the time the real move really happened in the market i was so exhausted i used to be so so wiped out of the market and my equity used to be completely dried out guys and i always used to miss out on the real move in the market right so if there was something which i would just simply want to tell myself had i been given a chance to go back in the past was the fact that just trade less right just just simply trade less and play out only specific moves in the market as a whole do not over trade guys now this is something which i wanted to tell myself if i had the chance to go back in 2018 look guys the thing is that i simply missed out on crazy amount of opportunities and if i just simply zoom out you can see that i was stuck right here right my mind was playing games with me and i was simply stuck right here trying to make money every single day but what i was not able to visualize as a whole is that bitcoin will have this amount of volatility it will have this amount of volatility you I, look guys i was simply not able to see this right that markets will simply move to the upside or the downside in Infinitely, there will be infinite chances to play your game in the market as a whole, guys. So do not have that formal mindset that oh my god, if I miss this trade, I'm gonna be missing out on the best opportunity in my life altogether, right? So that is something which I was facing right here in this zone. And look, guys, maybe that was the reason why I was simply um, developing bad habits in my trading. Now, what used to happen is that, look, guys, I kind of missed out on this move, and I did miss out on this leg as well to the upside, and essentially. By this amount of time, I had completely accepted the fact that I have to unlearn so many fucking bullshit that I simply was playing out every single day in the market on these levels. So that took a while as well, right? I had to unlearn so many things to simply come out profitable after a very freaking long time. But at least, guys, the thing is that at least it dawned upon me that if I have to play this game of trading, I should not be stuck in these amount of time frames or maybe you know i should not be stuck in a two to three percent range altogether and expect to make money every single day from the market because look guys the overall volatility dried down and the opportunities were also squeezing out from the market but what what a lot of people including me were missing out on the fact was the thing that look we'll have a lot of opportunities right and look if you are really zoomed into small time frames your brain will not be comprehending the possibilities of such things to play out in the future right which is why guys let's talk about this price action in this particular range all of us know that bitcoin is facing severe resistance from forty five thousand dollars because we have a big bearish cross on top of us right and if you want to if you want to really dig deep into the analysis i did post a long-term analysis on bitcoin guys i think it's two videos before this one but essentially we have a massive bearish cross coming from the bitcoin golden ratio fibonacci sequence as well so that is coming from 45 46 thousand dollar regions as a whole now the thing is that if bitcoin is able to situate a daily or a three-day trend above 46 thousand dollar regions most likely it will push all the way towards 58 or 57 thousand dollars for good and that is a good direction based trade that you can probably take in the market guys and hell if you know what's going to come next in let's just say guys even if you know that you're completely sure about the fact that the move is going to be about 20 percent 30 percent that is when you can leverage yourself out in the market right and essentially 
since you're not doing anything about this price action you'll have crazy thinking capacities when the breakout really happens guys otherwise if you're if you're kind of squeezing yourself out every single day in this kind of choppy zone in the market you will simply exhaust yourself you will simply exhaust yourself guys now this analysis is coming from bitmax xbt usd guys i used to fucking trade on bitmax right and one more thing back in the good old days bitfenix was a good platform guys that was a good platform because you had crazy amount of lending and borrowing going on um one more thing i could have just simply done when the price action was simply going sideways was the fact that i could have simply lent my money out on bitfenix right and i would have earned interest while the market simply went sideways so that could have been a good win situation rather than a losing situation trying to trade every single day and coming out profitable which was anyway not happening in the market so I had I just simply lent my USD balance out on Bitfenix and just wait on the sidelines to just let the price action resolve itself to the upside or the downside it would have been a winning situation for me guys now the thing is that platforms like FTX have come out in the market right and FTX has crazy amount of lending borrowing going on between crazy crazy assets and you can simply lend and borrow your stock portfolio as well on FTX guys you can sign up to FTX and you can trade with crazy discounted prices using the link in the description so sign up to FTX if you have not done that probably you can treat FTX as your workspace as your office as well guys because well oh well you got everything happening on FTX so that is also one thing that i could have probably done right and if you can relate to all of this hit that like and hit that subscribe it would really help me out and i will catch all of you with crazy amount of analysis coming pretty soon guys bye for now